This is the way we walk a bro, walk a bro, walk a bro. This is the way we walk a bro early in the morning. Roll title. Let's start to begin. What is up guys, this is Christopher of DA Games, back once again with Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! Wahoo! I nearly forgot the wahoo then. <laughs> okay, so last time we took on a mighty little dragon, found out it was a prince, got hammers, let's go do shit! So last time, as you know, I've already cleared out the things to carry on, so we're just gonna carry on and let's just get... That's a fucking save block right there. I could have got back to that one. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, Christopher earns the dummy award. Okay, got some coins. Whack and whack and whack. I don't think there's... Oh, yeah, there's something else here. We need this. Mushroom. Set it up. Mushroom. Set it up. Fucked up. I don't think there's anything else here, I don't think. Ah. <clears throat> now the annoying bit when you gotta push when you get randomly pushing buttons. Ah fuck! I don't think there's anything there. Eh, we'll come back to that later. If there is something there, I'll figure it out later, because that's the way I roll. Anyway, let's go! Oh look at the old man with the cute little puppy! Who's the cute little puppy? Who's the puppy? Who's the puppy? Nah, I can't hurt the doggy. Who there, partners? It's been a goomba's age since we had any strangers in these parts. Yeah! Now listen, fellas, if you want to ride in them rusty old carts, I won't go stopping you. But I advise watching out for your trouble. Mental note, girlfriend, uh, ugh, fiance in Texas as cowboy. Ugh. Anyway, so let's go because now we're going to get ourselves a lovely little mini game. Now, basically put how this works is Mario and Luigi will travel along the circuit as possible. You have Mario with a flashlight and Luigi is in the background. You can use both the characters to jump in the air as you do. But you've got to keep an eye on grabbing um, uh, flashlights, uh, batteries, because you need to keep the flashlight going, otherwise you won't be able to see where you're going. The idea is pretty simple. You have to traverse this and try get a certain number of gems to pass the goal. Collect enough gems past the goal and you win. Basically put, simple as. And I believe as you're going through the game, you can come back and play this game and earn lots of pretty coins. That's the way this shit works, and I love it! So yeah, the, ge the, the, the gameplay is not tricky. You're basically using A and B to jump with Mario and Luigi. And basically what you do is um, is use the, uh, the, uh, the directional pad to basically grab... Um, to basically... Uh, the directional pad to move the flashlight... And then you actually use, uh, uh, basically you have to keep grabbing the batteries, otherwise you won't be able to see where you're going. And I believe we are coming up to, yep, there we go. Okay, so the goal was to get 10 jewels. Get 10 jewels and you end up passing this and you can carry on the quest. Uh, wait a minute. Did you see up there, guys? Well, howdy, again. Well, fellas, this spot marks the last stop of my long, strange railroad of my life. Yeah, he's actually dead. He's actually dead. This guy's actually a living ghost, because the puppy's gone, which is quite sad. Anyway, so now we're in the actual main bit now, and now things are now going to, well, do their thing. Okay, so... Let's go back, let's go, uh, just save the game very quickly because it's the way I've learned. If you're going to save your game, always save your game at the right bits. Anyway, waka, waka, waka. I don't think you get anything for, no, you don't get anything for whacking the twees. But we are stopped by what? The Hammer Brothers. We got to mention one thing. We never taught you how to use your hammers in battle. Say what? We could use hammers in battle? Oh, that makes shit easier. Yeah, let's go. 
Okay, so <laughs> we gotta face these guys. <laughs> Why couldn't we do this on the jumping ones? Because <laughs> they were smarter. <laughs> okay, so basically put, you use the hammers in battle a little differently than you do with jumping in a battle. So besides the usual Mario with the A button, Luigi with the B button, as you normally have in this game, basically put the other bit that happens is, um, well, first of all, you go into solo, and now as you can see, you have two forms of attacking, jump and hammer. You select the form you want to go with, so in this case, we're learning a hammer, we choose hammer. Duh! Then we select uh, the attack target, which is sledge. So... Wait a sec! How long do I hold this pause? Press the A button now. Basically put, what happens is the following. The hammer is what you class as an all or nothing type of thing. Press the button at the right time to do the damage you need to do. If you fail to press the button at the right time, you end up doing so minimal damage, it's, well, you know... It's, it's stupid. But anyway, press the button when the hammer shakes and that's your cue to swing. And a green guy does the same thing. So now you can block with a hammer. Now, the hammer is a little different than jumping. Basically put jumping, you just press the button as you do. The hammer is a little bit more difficult to get right. You've got to hold the button down. Basically, you've got to hold the button down and wait for the shaking. Like that! There you go. So that's a little trickier to get right. You've got to hold it for when it shakes. Hold it too long and you can't use your hammer for the rest of that uh, attack bit. So in other words, get it right and you're fine. Get it wrong and... Uh oh You're gonna get, well, whacked. Uh, excuse me, I apologize. I was up quite late when I was uh, doing things. Anyway. So with the hammer, we can now take on some of the other enemies in the game. <laughs> yeah, we get to go ride the carts. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> All right, so these rocks we can't destroy until we get the highest hammer in the game. So don't worry too much about that. Get the syrup. Oh, coin block. Grab the coins, grab the coins, grab the coins, grab the coins, grab the coins. No, no, fuck up, fuck up, don't fuck up, no, don't fuck up. Queen Summer does not fuck up. I did, no, you didn't fuck up. No, 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 I did not fuck up. You saw nothing, viewers. You saw absolutely nothing. I did not fuck up in the slightest. There's a mushroom. I did not fuck up. We're just going to carry on as normal. I'm going to go over here, even though this isn't the right way. Oh, yeah, that's our shortcut back if you want to go with it. And I believe something's up here, I think. Ah, boo ah, the boo statue. We have to come back here later. And that activates the bridge here that we need to do, because we need to use that boo to carry on with another mission later. But we'll get to that as the time goes on, because as you know, this is a gameplay. So anyway, so now we've got to go down here. And I believe, yep, this is why we needed the hammers. We need it on these guys. So these little guys are Sharpies. Pun. What do you know? Okay, so, allow me to demonstrate. Sharpies have spikes on their head. What would be a bad thing to do in this situation, viewers? Jump on an enemy. That's a great move. Well, that is exactly what you don't do. You use the hammer to basically do the damage. Now, there is one thing to mention about Sharpies, by the way. Uh, about the, uh, the hammers, by the um. What is it? Was it the hammers? What am I thinking? Oh yeah, um, first strikes in battle. Basically, depending on how you get the first strike indicates what happens. If you jump on an enemy that can't, that doesn't have a spike on the field, in other words, if we jumped on that Sharpie, the first attack wouldn't work, meaning we can't damage it. But, if you use the hammer, instead of damage, it paralyzes the enemy. Meaning, there's an opportunity for you to get an attack in quickly before... Uh, basically, you get your bro attacks first in before the turn order resets to normal. So, in other words, if we paralyze the Sharpies, Mario and Luigi get to go first, and then the turn order kicks into play. <laughs> so, that's basically the way that bit works. So, it's pretty impressive when it goes about it. 
And we're just getting a lot of recurring battles, so you know the regime. Cut! So Chloe, if you're watching this, basically leave the, the first two in, uh, if you haven't already cut them out and such. Uh, but basically, I uh, just did that to explain the mechanics of the first strikes. So, basically, uh, so you know, from now on, if a new enemy turns up... Oh, wait, shit, I realise. I should be back on track. So I'll just do a quick check back here, just to be safe. Alright, uh, and then resu resume the uh, recording, by the way, from, uh, from this bit here. Okay, there we go. Got that bit sorted. Oh, another one! Shit! Ugh! Cut! Ow! Alright, there we go! So I believe uh, we don't go that way, so we go this way. We go, I believe the sign says it. Yep, so we gotta go down. Ah! New enemies! Come here! Uh, come here! There we go! Alright. So now we got ourselves another new enemy here. So we have here, uh, let me see here. Well, let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of old, uh, Spike Tooth there before we end up getting hurt. Nope! <laughs> Denied! <laughs> okay, so this is a swarm. Swerve? Is that the right word? Swerve, swim, swam, swoom, swim. English not strong point. Uh, swooms don't do much for attacking. They basically love to bury underground and get you. They'll either appear at the front and bite you, or they'll end up uh, going from below and try to take you out. So otherwise, not too tricky for this. Uh, the enemies don't get that much tougher. The only thing that's the major concern is obviously trying to... Uh, uh, what am I saying? Ah! You! I saw you! Come here! Come here! Can't aim for shit, Christopher! Oh no! I walked into that one! Cut this. Nope. Okay, so let's see what happens with this one. Sorry about this, by the way. Well, think of it this way. It limits how many of the episodes go, Chloe. <laughs> nope. And poof. Oh, come on. And take him out with a the hammer. There we go. Okay. Now let's try that again and get moving. Now, there are more enemies here, but I can easily take them out as we get closer, but... Uh, don't try to sh tackle every enemy, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, cut! Take care of you! A jump to the face! And then another jump to the face! There we go! Alright! Now, are we, are we clear to go now? Are we clear? Uh, are, we, are we clear? Are we perfectly clear? I think we're clear. Oh, there's more enemies there, but fuck it, new. I do know which way to go, boo. I have not lost my sense of direction. Ugh, you again. Eh, yeah, fuck you. I'll deal with you later. Anyway, I believe this is where we'll find the, the castle. Yep, the uh, castle is just closed. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> nope! No, this is the wrong area! That's the wrong area! Nope, nope, we go down, we go down, we go down! Oh, I'm an idiot. I said I knew which way to go, and I fucked that up. Oh, that could have been nasty if we got into that battle. Uh, anyway, uh, cut. There we go. Now, I know there's tons more enemies around here, but I do not plan on fighting every single one of them. Because, let's face it, nobody wants to fight or battle every single enemy in the game. Well, if you're desperate to level up, I'd say yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too worried at the minute. I'm just going to tackle what gets in the way and just, you know, just do it. Cut this one, as you know. Ah, here 
here we go. Now we finally got ourselves the right way. So now this is where we go. We go this way. Now let's go see the castle. Man, I haven't seen a place that looked this bad since I looked around my room 20 seconds ago. What happened, young man? It was attacked? The humanity! The humanity! We can't even go and run to buildings anymore! It's inhumane for an RPG to do that! So yeah, the uh, the town was... Uh, uh, um, I love this! The youngins are... The youngins are absolutely hurt, but the elderly are fine! Game? <laughs> Oh, we found the, found the, ugh. All right, so basically put, now we found ourselves the shop. Now, for you guys who wondered, um, I'll, co I'll come to talking about the shop on a, on a later episode, but, uh, uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. Ah, uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. There, get rid of off my head. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that one anyway. Uh, wait, the castle, the castle. Oh, shit, he went to the motherfucking castle. No! I thought, mm, can we push this thing out of the way? No, we can't. Can we push this thing out of the way? No, we cannot. But anyway, uh, sorry to put this blunt, guys, but we're going to end this right now. So, with the town in such a disarray, how the heck can we get through this uh, this, this mess? Plus, why is Cackletter attacking the castle? Well, if you briefly saw that one quickly, you would have known that she's after something. But, and I always double save it, I'm sorry. Because cause, cause you can only prevent your loss of save data, I'm afraid, guys. But anyway, guys, uh, this is going to be it for this episode. So tune in next time when we're going to tackle ourselves with the next epidemic when we go and face the Queen Bean herself to basically try to solve this escapade and figure out where to go next. So, can we save the citizens of the town? Or is this the calm before the storm? I don't know, but the music is scaring me. Oh, I'm scared. But anyway, guys, that's all for this. So it's goodbye from me, Christopher Brown, 1988, on Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Catch you all later. Goodbye.